Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather, and this is the Fluffy Oracle. This reading is going to be all about 2019 love predictions for you for next year and what you can expect or possibly um, can expect to see next year for you in love. And what better group of little people or items, my little friends, to come and help us with this today for your um, pile choices. We have Oscar, we have Baby Jasper, and we have Barney to help us see what's going to happen in love for next year for us. Timestamps will be down below as also as the first comment for my mobile users for your convenience. If you need any extra time, please go ahead and feel free to pause the video at any time that I'm speaking right now before we jump right in with the first pile. And know that I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for liking and taking the time out to view my videos and for subscribing. We are at over 1K and I am truly, truly grateful for all of you guys. And to those who are new here, who are just finding out um, finding my videos for the very first time, please feel free to consider subscribing and joining our happy frog family, as I always say. And without further ado, let's jump in with Oscar. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose Oscar, let's see what he has to bring you for love next year. So starting off, we have the Eight of Scrolls. We have Paths Unknown. So with this, I feel like there's going to be a lot of mystery for next year so far with what type of direction that you're going to want to head in with your love and with your relationships. And also a lot of fun because this is an unknown path for you for some of you with um, journeys in new relationships with those of you who will be having new relationships in the beginning of the year or even between now when you're watching this video and the time of um, same time around for next year for the same month. <clears throat> So we have clearing the way. So what I get from this card is that you've been doing a lot of work on clearing out the past and letting things go. So that way you can make way for the new to come in for you for next year. And I feel like it's going to be very promising for you next year with bringing in a new soulmate for some of you who are interested in finding out if there's going to be any new soulmates coming in for you. And then we have <clears throat> initiation. The Count St. Germain. So with this, I feel like there's going to be a way to meet one of your soulmates at maybe a gathering or a party or even like a church function from what I just heard or just at some kind of function where there's a lot of people. I feel like you'll end up running into uh, a soulmate there and meeting someone for those who are interested. And then we have the War of the Roses. So with this, I feel like some of you have struggled this year a lot with finding relationships and love and those who would treat you right and do right by you and give you the love and respect that you so deserve and need. I feel like that war is now over in next year. And I feel like you finally won that battle and you'll finally fi um, meet the one that's going to give you everything that you've ever dreamed of and asked for. So let's see what else we have for you or what you can expect. We have denial. So with this card, it's not so much as like a derogative. It's kind of a more like a feeling of this is too good to be true. Don't deny yourself this. Don't sit there and think, well, this, this isn't, this is too good to be true. It's not that type of thing. I feel like reach for what you want and it's yours. And I feel like with this new person that's coming in for you, I feel like it is going to be yours and that everything is true and to not deny yourself everything that they're giving you and to just take it for face, like not face, don't just take it for face value, see it for the value that it is and absolutely revel in it because you deserve this love. And I feel like the more that you embrace and accept this, I feel like the better it's going to get for you especially with the fulfillment card. It's kind of a confirmation of what I just said. The more you embrace this, the more fulfillment and joy you are going to have with this relationship that's coming in for you next year. And we have obedience. So with this, I feel like it's not really so much that word. I really feel drawn to more of the woman in this card with the scales. And I feel like justice has, and, um, whatnot has weighed in your favor, kind of like a Libra energy. 
the scales have finally balanced out and in your favor is what I get with this, especially with finding this new and amazing love that's coming in for you for next year. And also deepening your commitment for those who are currently in love relationships that are watching this as well. I feel like your relationships are going to get that much better for you. We have let your friends help you. Ask and ask for and accept support from others. So with this, I feel like if you need to like kind of reach out to your friends and network a little bit, see if you can maybe get set up on a blind date is what I just heard. I feel like if you do, I feel like it's going to be a great match and I feel like it's worth the chance and definitely it's, it's good to get out and have fun and explore your options because we have attraction as the next card. We have you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So with this, I feel like with this relationship that's new, I feel like enjoy every moment of it and absolutely just soak it in. Kind of like she's like smelling this rose here and she's just absolutely drinking in all of its beauty and all of its wonderful, amazing scent. And then we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So spend a lot of um, spending a lot of quality time is definitely going to be on the agenda for you next year with your new partner or with your current partner and deepening your bonds and relationship levels as well as what I got with this. Especially with those who are in relationships, I feel like it's going to take um, a more committed level for them. And then we have from some extra for some extra messages from the universe of love for you guys we have be true to yourself you may not ever understand what's going on in their life but you can always figure out what's going on in yours tally ho the universe so with this i feel like getting to know yourself during this time period and even next year continuing on will help you also to uh, get to know your partner a little bit better and also understanding them as well and also having lots of heart to heart conversations and enjoying all of those conversations and listening to every word that they have to say because they are definitely going to be listening to every word you have to say so these are your messages I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel see you next video Alrighty, so for my loves who chose baby Jasper, let's see what we have coming up for you from, for next year from her. So she brings us reflection. So I feel like this new partner that's going to be coming in for you is an absolute reflection mirror image of yourself. And you are able to see all the positives and the negatives as well and get to have um, get to know each other a lot more deeper. And for those in current relationships, I feel like your partner is a mirror image of you and you're able to get to see all the unknown and hidden aspects of yourself as much as they are with you. And then we have the architect. I feel like building um, strong and st sturdy foundations is going to be much needed next year for your relationships, especially with getting to know new people in uh or know your new partners and your new relationships and for those who are in existing ones i feel like building a firmer foundation and having a stronger bond between you is going to be much needed next year we have faded meeting for those who are still single out there looking for that one i feel like it's going to be divinely timed and finally and it'll be you'll be saying to yourself finally it's about time i found someone or the one and you're going to fall head over heels in love with this person as well as them with you. Alrighty. And then we have intricacies and industry. So with this, it's all about paying attention to the little details in your partner and getting to know them thoroughly and fully during this time next year. And I feel like it's also going to be vice versa for them with you. So please don't be afraid to let them in and to understand exactly where your boundaries are and the things you like or don't like already but also don't go into your relationships thinking that you have to micromanage anything either or everything that is I got that as kind of like a last detail message before I put that down I'm like sorry but anyways we have summon so with this 
I feel it's more of a ask and you shall receive type of um vibration from this and I feel like the universe has heard you and they are sending that one to you for those who are still looking for love and for those in a more deeper committed relationship I feel like when you ask for what you want from your partner you will receive it and then we have vision with Aphrodite so with this I feel like it's going to be a beautiful time next year a lot of new things coming in and getting to know each other not only just emotionally, but mentally and physically as well. Well, not just, you know, mentally and physically, but on like the deepest, most unknown, unseen levels that you can actually possibly get to know someone is what I feel with this. And I also feel like you guys will be intuitively connected as well. And then we have oath. I feel like for those who are in relationships right now, you're relationships are about to get a lot more serious and a lot more committed so I hear engagements and possibly weddings as well so please let me know down below how that all turns out for you next year with that and I feel like also making promises to yourself never to let someone actually disrespect for you disrespect you or hurt you ever again is what's going to be also needed next year as well and to have those boundaries and self-love and making that promise to yourself and to know your self-worth Then we have release your ex. I feel like a lot of you will be releasing old loves this year by the end of this month at least and welcoming in the new and letting go of old things that no longer serve you as well as old relationship baggage. Just finally letting it go and healing from it is what I get from this. And then we have finances and career. So I feel like this new person for those who are single that's coming in for you, they are going to be able to be, have be on par with you and match you financially and also they have a dream career that they probably would want to pursue with you is what I hear for some of you out there I don't know how that's actually going to play out but please let me know how it does for future reference and then I also hear even if someone makes more than you know that you're not less than them and that you guys still have an equal partnership already the card reads financial issues are a factor in your love life right now just for those who are interested in what the card says and then the release your ex card says the time has come to clear your energy I didn't really get any extra messages with that but then we have ooh, true love so that goes perfectly with the um where is it with the uh, faded meeting card and I really feel like it's definitely divinely timed and it's definitely that you've called this soulmate in finally and the universe has definitely heard your call because you've asked for it and now you're going to be able to finally receive it next year and I hear within the next few months loud and clear before I actually went to read this card it says this is the romance of a lifetime so I feel like this is going to be one heck of a divinely um true love deep emotional and well connected relationship with you and that you guys are going to be absolutely enamored with each other so much that you guys will be inseparable so that's pretty awesome so from the universe for some extra um, messages of love let's see what we have we have time for <clears throat> a love fest that couldn't be any better for this reading for you guys <laughs> we have actually everyone is reasonable they just have their own reasons and usually it's worth trying to learn what they are to maximize chances of full-blown 60s style psychedelic love fest or of a full-blown 60s style psychedelic love fest which is always a good thing groovy you <laughs> the universe so with this i hear free love <laughs> for loud and clear with the 60s so when i what i mean by free love is you will be in a very loving and open hearted and open heart chakra type of move for throughout most of 2019 especially with this new love that's coming in and you'll be able to freely give yourself as much as them giving your new partners giving themselves freely to you and enjoying your time with them and having as much love as you can possibly handle is what I get so I hope these messages resonated with you guys know that I love you thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing and I will see you next video have a blessed one 
Alrighty, last but not least, for my loves who chose Barney, let's see what Barney has to bring us for next year. We have the journey. So with this card, I feel like it's definitely been a journey for you this year with um, finding love and having relationships as well as finding those that are meaningful and deep for you. And I feel like next year that this journey is going to get a lot of um, a lot more easier for you and that you'll be able to go more with the flow and actually find love that's really worth it and really deep for, bo um, for both you and your partner that's to come in. We have will, wisdom, and mind. So with this, I feel like it's a very spiritually divine connection with this person and that you are going to be able to have in common with everything, with how you see things spiritually, how you th see, see and think about things, how you feel about things. I feel like you're going to have so much in common that you are just really connected and an absolute perfect mirror of each other. And I feel like that this is just a very deep mind, body, and soul connection for you both and that you will have that much, um, so much passion between you guys. And then we have the queen of scrolls. So with this, I feel like this was a soul contract relationship that's coming in for you and that it was divinely, um, orchestrated by yourself and the other person, as well as, um, your guides and angels. And that this soul contract will definitely be fulfilled next year. And that I feel like it's going to be well worth it. And then we have the chess game. So with this, I feel like there's no need to feel like it's going to take strategizing and planning out or anything like that. I feel like it's just going to run smoothly. And I feel like it's going to be like checkmate is what I just heard. So basically... You are going to clear the board and it's basically the game is over with, with this person and that things are going to be, um, the way they're supposed to be for you and work out wonderfully and that you are going to come out on top in love next year is what I hear. So let's see what else we have for you. Cause that was kind of complicated to explain. I'm like, I'm getting so much and I'm like trying to articulate it for you guys. So we have forbidden. I hear forbidden love immediately with this card. I feel like this is the most, like, this isn't your normal type of relationship is what I hear. And that people would not expect you to be with this person, but it doesn't really matter because what matters most is where your heart is, where your mind is, and what you want and not what everybody else wants for you. It doesn't matter. The person who you love is who you love. And what the heart wants, the heart wants is what I get with this. Alrighty. And then we have trapped. So with this, I, I hear emotionally trapped. For some of you, I feel like you may feel emotionally trapped right now in a relationship, but I feel like you will be a lot freer next year, especially within the next couple of months is what I just heard. And that you will be able to express yourself fully instead of feeling so caged behind an emotional wall. I feel like you'll be able to finally release yourself from your own mental cages and from your own restrictions and be able to open up to your partners. And then we have high priestess of water. So with this, I hear and feel that it's a big loud confirmation as well for what I just said with being able to be more open emotionally with your partners and be able to express yourself more. And I feel like with this, that you will definitely have a more heart centered energy and more love flow with that and be able to do that a lot easier for you as well. So we have let go of control issues. So release the burdens of holding yourself back and actually allow yourself to love and trust this person is what I get loud and clearly with this and to not micromanage your relationships because that is absolutely horrible to do to someone else with micromanaging your love relationships because then you can't fully, um, enjoy them. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck was that? It was a stink bug that flew it around. I'm like, great. They're still here. <laughs> sorry. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. You guys. 
I owe you guys big time for this one. But anyways, that totally threw me off. We have let go of control issues. So not micromanaging your relationships, going with the flow, and having more freedom between both you and your partner is what's going to be called for next year, okay? <laughs> Moving on. We have calling in your soulmate. So for those of you who are single out there, I feel like this person has been... Um, that you've been calling in this divine soul soulmate for quite a while. And I feel like they are definitely worth waiting for because I wanted to get to this next card because I had kind of seen it when I had picked them up. And then it says divine timing is at work in your love life. So we have your prayers, affirmations, and visualiz visualizations help bring you together. So with this, I feel like this divine soulmate is finally coming in because you're getting what you asked for. So basically, ask and you shall receive is what I got with this. So with messages from the universe, we have start where you are. The great thing about feeling deep, profound, earth shaking love is that you can start with anyone next the universe. So with this, I feel like some amazing love is on its way in for those of you who are single and for those of you who are in current relationships with someone I feel like some very earth shattering deep connections are in store for you and I feel like you will have a lot more sturdier foundations as well between the both of you and build a more deeper connection between you as well so these are your messages I do hope that you enjoyed this video sorry about the interruption with this, the uh, small tiny bug that was flying around and freaking me out just a little bit. I'm just like, okay. Don't know where it came from because it's snowing outside and icy cold here in New York. And I'm just like, what the F? Because <laughs> it totally threw my groove off with this one. But know that I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this reading. And know that I love you very much extra extra <laughs> so i will see you next video and have a blessed one